Hey everybody, it's been a long time since I've been uh, out there on, on my YouTube channel and I just wanted to reach out with a cool project or cool thing that honestly I didn't realize until this week. Um, so uh, talking about hip objects, hip objects are things you want to check for to make sure that a, a, com a client conforms to uh, in order to grant them access to a specific destination. So the Globe Protect client connects, it submits a hip report, everything about the endpoint that the agent is running on. And then as that report comes in, the firewall checks through and says, oh, you, you match with this hip object, you match with that hip object and this hip object. But it doesn't inherently tell you when you fail a hip check. Now, you can tell the end user, hey, you failed this hip check. But I, as the admin, don't easily know when a user fails a hip check. And so I've got to go and suss that out somehow. Well, I found a trick for a way to notify yourself. And if you work in a large enough organization, you can notify your help desk without even bothering the end user. And, and one way you do this is in the HIP profile ex itself. So uh, first thing you'll see, I, I just got an example here and I've named this an enforce profile to differentiate itself from alert profiles. It'll make sense in a second. Uh, but in this enforce profile, if I want, I can add some criteria and then using the Boolean and, or, and not, uh, plus these options here, I can say, look, if you are a sanctioned system, you belong to this domain or this domain, and you conform to my antivirus check and you conform to disk encryption. Well, if I want to get notified when somebody fails any one of those, create some additional profiles and then throw in the not criteria and only a single check per, for example, root cert. So essentially now you have a profile that looks for a host that does not conform to the root cert. And then give yourself, uh, do yourself a favor, name it an alert profile, and then give yourself a description indicative of, of the intent, right? And then that way, when you come into your policy, if you want to invoke HIP uh, as a device value, as you're looking through the options here, you know to like, don't use the alert ones, only use the enforce ones. So there's clarity in the nomenclature as to which ones I should be considering. And then uh, I'm going to cancel out of this. If you want to see the results of this, you can go to the hip log, right? And I've just got a filter string here for match name contains. Now, if you click on one of these, it'll, it'll try to do an EQ, but you can swap that EQ for alert, right? So match name contains single quote alert dash single quote. So that's uh, part of the name, right? And you can see that when my phone connected, it's missing all of these different checks. And then if you want to notify somebody external, like your help desk, come over here to device and then down to log settings and you want to find the hip log, right? So down here and here's the example I've created uh, where I've got my help desk ticketing system as a destination via SNMP or syslog or potential email. I place that filter string in there right? And then I give it a descriptor so that, hey, as soon as a log entry matches that filter string, it gets sent off to the help desk. I as the, sorry, I as the security engineer maybe don't care to do anything and trust the help desk has got it. They've got a ticket. So I hope this is useful information to you. Um, let me know in the comments if you liked it and let me know in the comments if you have suggestions for future videos. Thanks and I'll see you on the next one.